Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to fix applications or mini apps which don't work on your Stream Deck. Now, this is actually quite an easy thing to fix, although the obvious solution you'd think would be to remove the app and then just reinstall it. Doesn't seem to work for some reason with the Stream Deck app. So we'll go to the computer now and I'll show you a very easy way of making sure that all your apps work every single time. Okay, so we're on our desktop computer. So this is my Stream Deck, all the setup, and these ones for me specifically are the ones which have been problematic, the ones for YouTube. So you can have a YouTube plugin, but this is gonna be the same for all of you. So if you've got maybe an OBS plugin, whatever it is, any of the plugins or third-party applications, they're all fixed in exactly the same way. So the first thing you wanna do is to close down the Stream Deck app. And then to make sure it actually is completely closed, go down to the taskbar here, find Stream Deck, right click, and choose Quit Stream Deck. You'll get a message come up saying, do you want to quit the Stream Deck? Yes, we definitely do, because the program needs to be disabled or not running. So that's that part done. So the next part is to navigate to where the Stream Deck files are actually held on the computer. And that's pretty easy. You can click on the Start button, and at the top here, just type in percent app data percent and press enter. You can use the search command as well. And this will take you to the roaming folder for app data. So what you want to do, scroll down through until you find a folder called Elgato. And inside of this, you'll see another one called Stream Deck. And inside of that one, there'll be a folder called Plugins. So that's the one we want. So this is going to be all of your plugins which are installed in the Stream Deck software. So you've got the volume controller, YouTube plugin, OBS Studio, and the key creator, which is part of the default setup. So the only ones I've actually added are the OBS Studio, the volume controller, and YouTube. And for some reason, the YouTube one just keeps on disconnecting my profile. No idea why it is, I keep on having to sign in, and then it remembers things, but it's an absolute pain in the backside. So anyway, easiest way to fix it is to highlight the folder, which is problematic, right click, and choose delete. You can, of course, click on the recycle bin to delete it that way. The choice is entirely up to you. So now that has removed the plugin. So now what we can do, close that down. We can now open the Stream Deck again. And you'll probably see that any buttons you've pre-programmed won't work because you've basically removed it. So they will be still there, but just they won't be active. And actually in the side here, you won't have the YouTube plugin enabled or whichever plugin you're using. Now, in order to get the plugin back, easy to do, just go up here to the multicolored icon where it says go to Elgato Marketplace and in the top here. So choose whichever you, one you want. I want YouTube, so we'll search for YouTube and then you can install it. So we'll just click on free and then open in Steam Deck. And there we go. YouTube plugin has been installed. It can be found in your actions list. So down here on the right hand side, this is your actions list. And now we can see that our buttons are there and the messages which are pre-programmed have been in there. So these are for chat messages, but these for some reason, when I press them, they would just kill them up with an exclamation mark and didn't work at all. So now they actually all work. And if we close down Stream Deck or restart the computer, these will still be here. Whereas previously I had it and this was all red and where it said latest, this was sort of grayed out, so I couldn't choose anything, and there was no text there. Very weird, it was disconnecting the YouTube account from Stream Deck. Very bizarre behavior. So there you go, pretty straightforward thing to do, so just work out which of your applications isn't working on your Stream Deck, and then you can just go into the App Data folder, delete the folder, then reopen the Stream Deck application, and everything should be all good. And like me, when I keep on saying Steam Deck rather than Stream Deck, but if you've come to this video, you know exactly what I mean. Anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.